Hi everyone, I'm Carlos. I'm a Tax Dome Certified Consultant and today I am super excited because Tax Dome has finally released a feature that's been long awaited in their beta program right now. We are in late August 2025 and so this is still something that's being rolled out. It's not 100% out, but if you are a Tax Dome beta user, you can do this now. And this is the packages option. Now you will have the ability to create different packages for your clients. And I'm actually going to walk you through it in the tax dome sandbox here. So um, let's get started. So as you know, the traditional creation of a proposal or engagement letter, you would start like any place by clicking on new proposal and it, it will take you to the menu. Now, if you don't have access to beta, you're unable to do this right now, but if you do, have access to beta, you will be able to start sending proposals and packages. The other thing I want to share with you is currently you cannot create any templates for the packages. You have to create them one by one. So I've actually taken the work of building one so that I could show you how it looks in the eyes of the customer and I'll send it to my test account so that you can have an opportunity to see what it looks like at the end of it all. So the first section is, you know, for you to be able to first create the introduction portion, right? This is, imagine you just finished a diagnostic or a conversation with a client and now you're creating the proposal, you've reviewed their documents. We're using today a bookkeeping packages scenario. This would be the introduction letter. Letter, it would be something like, thank you for your time, sharing more information about your business and your goals based on our conversation. You're looking for something beyond data entry, blank, 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 blank. Below you'll find three carefully designed packages, all structured to help you with you know, your level of support, strategy, and scalability, right? Depending on how you know how the business is structured, you'll probably know what options they're going to lean towards, but you can build it in such a way so that your recommendation can be focused on the package you want them to select. I also put this idea for those of you who do build proposals is to always say, hey, if you want to learn more about us before moving forward, here are some links to test client testimonials. Here are the links to Google reviews so that gives the client that confidence of moving forward with you. Remember, this will be engagements where they're going to be spending a, a decent amount of money to hire you. So we're not talking about a $200, $300 a month type of engagement. We're looking at thousands of dollars a month for more advanced kind of engagement. So you want to make sure you show the credibility uh, that the client gives them the confidence to know to make that decision. In the next page, I just kind of put a a blanket uh, terms here. But one of the things I did is I actually put the three packages in there just so that there's clarity. And one thing that I would recommend you do, talk about what's included and what's not included so that you're covering your butt in case they come back and say, hey, I'm on this package. You know, aren't you supposed to do this for me? Well, you put the exclusions there. So we've got three levels. I put three prices. You've got startup level, premium level, and then strategic accounting level. That's just in the terms itself. The beauty now is, is really all reliant upon the services part. This is the part where we now are able to build packages. You'll see that you can select to do a tiered package, which is what we've been wanting to have TaxDome release and it's now available. You can do your traditional one service, one option package by clicking on the list of services. Or for those of you who are just sending an engagement letter and you're not including any invoicing or requiring them to make a payment or agree to a specific amount, you can just skip that section and none of the packages will be shown. Now in this scenario, we've got the startup level, the premium bookkeeping, and the strategic accounting level. Every time you build this service, it's going to take you into this menu where you're going to design the package name. You can put a description and on the right side, you'll see the preview of what it would look like for the client. You will also select if you want it to be requesting the payment right away. You'll see that that's a re recommended best practice or you can just list the service only. From a payment authorization, you can have them immediately make it as an auto pay, or if you wanna ma manually invoice them because you're using a different system, you can do that as well. Ideally, you wanna to try to automate everything all in one system. In this scenario, it could be a one-time payment or recurring, since we're using the idea of monthly services, we're gonna put them in the recurring, and I just put 12 recurrences. Once the client accepts this letter, it'll immediately start debiting them, you design the line item just like you would in the traditional way. You put the name of the product, you could put a description, you could put the rate. And 
essentially it'll, you know, you can add another note to the client if you want there, and it'll give you the schedule of the 12 debits that will take place over the course of the 12 months. It's very beautiful. Then you've got the client facing bullet points of what you could say is included. And then you can go ahead and add all those details. And it looks like you can add as many rows as you want. Now this little piece here is pretty cool where you can add the highlight so that you can add like a little note to say most popular, best seller. And so whatever I modify in here, you'll notice that it'll actually show up right there in the highlight, which is quite cool. But in this scenario, since this is the first option, we're not highlighting it. And so there you have, that's kind of the way that we built the startup. Then you've got the premium bookkeeping, and this is the one we highlighted as most popular. So you'll see it right there. We highlighted it as the most popular. And same idea, you wanna put a package name, you put a description. You'll notice that the there it'll be limited what you can write. I use a lot of chat GPT to help me write the name of the package and the description. And I usually just say, hey, give me a description for this, less than 120 characters. And then I'm able to kind of put that, you know, for growing businesses, needing invoicing, billing, support, and deeper, you know, financial reporting. And then you list the price, just like everything else, and you list all the things uh, that is included. One thing that I really like about this is that you can actually duplicate each package so that you don't have to write all of the actual descriptions of what's included. You basically just add upon whatever package one plus all the other things that are included. And then we created the strategic accounting. I actually am gonna change the price to that because it doesn't make sense to have the price the same twice. So you can have the strategic accounting, which is gonna be like basically the mother of all services, you know, very, very inclusive, very integrated kind of accounting. You'll notice that some of the things that are included or not included are in there now. I'm using this reference based on uh, services of, of an accounting firm that I support and I coach. Of course, all of you can think of what you wanna share, like what your prices will be. I'm not saying this is the reference point, this is what you should charge. Just giving you an idea of how to use this feature of the packages. But basically when you're ready to go, you then select what kind of allowed payment methods you want. And you can also have another custom email to send to the client. So when they receive it, it's like, it'll say, hey, thanks for connecting. Each option is designed for you at different levels. Feel free to review it and let us know what you think. Uh, and then basically you kind of select which client you want to send it to. And in this scenario, I'll go ahead and send it to my demo account. So you can get an idea of what that looks like. And then of course, this will be sort of the proposal but the title that you want to create for this. So proposal for bookkeeping services, and you could add a short code if you want to personalize it to the specific client that you're supporting. If you're going to be adding it to the pipeline, you could also connect it and link it to a specific pipeline. Let's say you have like an onboarding or a prospect kind of pipeline. You can do that as well. So let's keep on going through here and see what it does for us. I'm going to submit it. And now let's move to the client side to see what it looks like from the client side. So here we are in the client side proposal letter. So essentially what we was built on one, one end, you got the introductory letter. Client will see the engagement letter. It'll say whichever of the three services included, not included. This is what they'll see digitally. And there you have it, the three packages with whatever they choose, whether they go startup, premium or strategic, what's included in each of them. And then I put a little description. This is best for this kind of scenario. This is best for this kind of scenario, or this is best for this kind of scenario. The client can go ahead and select what they want. And then when they do that, it'll ask him for their payment method for them to sign and agree. And there you have it, friends, packages in Packstone. If you have any questions, check out in the description below and I'll share a little bit more. If you're interested in joining the beta program, uh, also send me an email and I'll send you that information so that you could request to be part of the Packstone beta so that you could start uh, trying out this, uh, this program, this feature inside of your Packstone. Thanks again. Talk soon.